Hello and welcome in the fourth episode of the Evolution of Virpu. In this episode I decided to download Unity, understand it and replicate the Virpu's world in this new environment. For me it will be no difficult at all. <coughs> First of all, I went on Blender to create from zero a more elegant model of Vilpu. Please tell me in the comment section if you like it. Then I took the previous base and the new creature and I import them in Unity. Creating stuff in this programming environment is very intuitive. Once you have imported your model, you can just drag it on screen to create a new object. The scripting part to do the same is not that intuitive. Then I replicate its movie dynamics from the one already present in Python and I play my first Unity program. At this point I was so dumb at Unity that I was not able to reproduce the program at full screen. I'm sorry about that. But it worked and for me it was a great success. Next step is introducing a collision system. Unity provides two key elements for doing that, box collider and a rigid body. The first one generates around the object a 3D shape easier to manage. Ouch. The rigid body instead is used to simulate physics behavior between objects. Thanks to this I create four transparent walls around the base and I check that Vilpu cannot cross them. At this point, I thought to be the king of collisions. Sure of my power, I ordered to 20 Vilpu to be on the scene at the same time to properly start the simulation. They literally explode with happiness. What happened is that uh, since I randomly choose a position for this little creature, uh, there is a chance that uh, two or more Vilpu share the same initial position. In Python, this was not a problem because there was no collision system, but here Unity is more rigid, and when two objects intersect, uh, the rigid body engine starts working to avoid collision. Before fixing the problem, I want to share with you this clip that made me laugh a lot. <laughs> to avoid that other Vilpus becomes uh, meteorite, I checked that the new creatures spawn at a distance bigger than 10 units from all the other ones. If the answer was yes, perfect. Unity can proceed with their creation. In the other case, the program recalculate a new position and recheck for social distancing. Well, this means that social distancing is useful also without COVID-19. After that, I spent 7 days to understand how to move their tails. And I'm not joking. Since for me all the animation stuff from Blender to Unity to create the animator and so on was a big mess, I just show you the result. I know, one week just for this. <sighs> After that week, I got a rest. Probably, as many of you, I am in quarantine and I cannot do so much. So I decided to rewatch Star Wars. I am the At a certain point, uh, I was thinking uh, that it will be fun to add the lightsaber in the simulation, right? Q 
chip card. The real reason why I'll introduce these red rays is to improve the intelligence of these little creatures. From every Vilpu, there are two rays that start 40 degrees apart from one another. If the right ray intersects an object with the box collider active, Vilpu increases its angular acceleration in order to turn left. Instead, if the left ray intersects an object, the angular acceleration is reduced to turn right. If no obstacles are revealed, the angular velocity still changes a bit to create a more natural behavior. No real animals walk in a perfectly straight line. We can also reproduce uh, the same result without seeing the laser. For my personal interest, I want to compare this behavior with random walking. For me, there is no doubt, the laser one is extremely better. And with this, I think I finished. I think you must create the graph. What? I think you must create the graph. Yes, I think I missed the graph. You are wrong. See more closely in the left down corner. Do you see it? Elegant. For today, I think it's all. For the next episode, I will continue the evolution system. Probably, I'll create trees to provide food to Vilpu. If you have any suggestion, please write in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Next one will be even better. See you next time.